how we can fetch unique email IDs from an Excel. This is my Excel. These are the application hosted on my server and I would like to send a notification to application owners to review their hosted application on server and if required do the necessary changes or update the details as this is the part of our annual review process now uh, if you notice here I have let let's take an example of Mike let's say Mike is the owner of many applications right but I would like to send just single email to Mike to inform him that the annual review process has been started. Kindly review your hosted application on server and update the details. So how we can, you know, remove the duplicate email IDs before sending an email notification to the application owners. So let's watch it in action come here click here i'm going to trigger it manually but you can trigger as per your business need search for list items Now provide the required details. What is the location of your Excel file? So the my Excel file is is on this SharePoint document library. Select your Excel file name and the table. Remember one thing before fetching data from an Excel first you need to convert your data into a table this I explained in my previous video you can find the link in description after fetching the data from Excel our next step is to get email IDs search for select operation provide the from in our case from is the output of previous action which is list rows present in a table so provide the required object which is value now click here on this icon and what we want we just want email IDs right so search for email application owner email IDs select it by doing this, uh, we, we will able to fetch just email IDs from the entire object of Excel. The next thing which is required here is to add a separator, basically a semicolon separator. So later on, we are going to use the output of this join directly in our email body how let me show you first provide the required details for join action so in case of join we already filtered out email IDs from our data now after filtering out select the output of select and the separator here in our case is the semicolon include semicolon once okay one thing we are missing uh, before including join operation first remove the duplicates to remove duplicates search for compose and come here in the expression and write this expression union using union function we are going to eliminate the duplicates so our source is the previous output after excluding duplicates now the next step is to append the filtered email IDs 
with semicolon or use the semicolon separator now we have a single string with all the email IDs we are good to go to send email notification to the application owners so send an email version 2 action use this now in to field provide the output of your join subject could be anything modify details of your hosted applications provide the link provide the link of your excel so that user can directly navigate to the excel directly from the email now let me test it our flow ran successfully let me go back to my select operation so these are the email IDs if you notice here uh, you know duplicates email IDs are present here but after including compose it will remove all the duplicate emails so these are the email IDs unique email IDs and after that we separated the email IDs with semicolon so this was the input and this is the output with the separator semicolon and later on we used same output of our join in our two field subject and the body of your email now let's check our mailbox so as you can see here this is the email we triggered from the power automate and these are the unique users thanks for watching the video please like subscribe and comment if the video was useful